going to show you how to import the Open Data NI LiDAR data into QGIS, a free geographic information system uh, software set, which is great for desktop analysis. Um, there's a key available of what LiDAR data is available for Northern Ireland, and this is all freely available uh, through Open Data NI. And it dates from 20 to 2008 to 2014. In this example, we're going to go through importing um, and creating a raster layer for the Scrabo um, area LiDAR data. And this was taken in 2012, and this will be important when we start searching for the data. So if we go over to opendataNI.gov.uk and search for LiDAR. Here we can see what data sets are available. We're going to go to the 2012, because this is where we know the Scrabo Tower data sits. We're going to scroll down to Scrabo Tower, and we're going to click download. This file is a couple of hundred megabytes, um, so just make sure you've got space in your system when you do download it. When it has downloaded, we can then go into the QGIS application. Up at the top menu then, we're going to want to we're going to import our raster layer. So we're going to go to raster, miscellaneous, build virtual raster. Under input layer, we're going to go to more. We're then going to go to add files. And we're going to find the data that we want in Scrabble. And we're going to go for the digital terrain model as opposed to the digital surface model. In here, you'll see a number of different files. And it's just the .asc file extensions that we want. So I'm going to make sure to highlight all of the .ascs, open them, make sure they're selected on the left-hand side, and click Run. And depending on the capability of your machine, this may take some time. When the raster has been created, we can close this, this window and we can see that raster data appear on the map in front of us. It's not very easy to interpret from this raw, raw raster data any of the features that are on the map. So we're going to do what's called a hill shade. We're going to go back up to raster. We're going to go to analysis and select hill shade. In here, just make sure you have the, the layer that you've just created um, selected. Everything else we're going to keep the same. This essentially changes the angle and altitude of the light that we're simulating throwing on the landscape. And click Run. Depending on the size of the layer and the speed of your machine, this may take some time. With the layer created, we can click close, and there we can see a beautifully shaded LiDAR model of Scrabble Hill. What I have found, however, is the layers on the left-hand side are created in temporary folders, and these aren't easily saved um, whenever we close the application. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to export um, the layer, and I'm going to export it and save it as a GeoTIFF file. Under the file name, we're not going to type anything here, but we are going to go to More. We're going to make sure that the file we're going to create is in the folder that we want. So I'm going to call it Scrabble Hillshade, and it's inside my Open Data NI folder on the computer. Uh, CRS, I want to go to TM75 Irish Grid, um, just to georeference the, the image, and I'm going to click OK. That now has saved and exported this as a, um, as a standalone TIFF file. And on the left hand side it's created a new layer, meaning that we can get rid of the uh, the original hill shade and the original virtual raster um, if we want. And there we go. There we have importing the Scrabble LiDAR data into QGIS.